This video is going to cover exponential equations which moves through achieved into merit. They're relatively straightforward and everyone should be able to at least attempt them. This is when you're asked to solve and also at merit level likely to form equations of this sort. There's a value with a constant times a multiplier to some power. Now at achieved we just substitute in the values given or if the unknown is an exponent as in this one we use logs to rearrange. I covered that in one of the other videos but I'm going to run through it here for you anyway. We take the 25 and divide it across and now we have a number is equal to another number to a power. Whenever we're trying to solve for an unknown that is a power, we log both sides and we use our log rule to move the exponent out of the equation. Then we rearrange and we stick in numbers into our calculators. In this case, log 4 divided by log 1.04 is 35.35 and that's the answer to that equation. And we can stick it back in our calculators to check if we wanted to. So, moving on now to solving exponential equations, starting with an easy one. First, we need to understand how they work. And they are whenever there is a compounding percentage increase or decrease. That is where the percentage increase or decrease applies to one that's already changed by the previous time period. And they can always be modelled by an equation of this form. End value is the start value times the 1 plus percentage change over time. Bearing in mind 1 is 100% and the percentage change must be expressed as a decimal, but we'll see that in the next couple of questions. So here's that easy question. $20,000 is compounding at 5% interest at the end of each year. How much is interest is earned in 20 years? Well, that's our formula. So our n value is what we're trying to calculate. Our, that's our v, our unknown. Our start value is 20,000, we're told that. And we've got 5% interest, 0.05 as a decimal, plus our 100%, and t is our time in years. And we're told our time in years, we are told it's 20 years. So we stick that into our equation and we go 20,000 times 1.05 to the power of 20 in our calculators. And the answer is $53,065.95. Now it's rounded to cents whenever I do dollars. However, just be a little bit careful. Although that maths is right, it's not answering the question we asked. We asked how much interest. So we take away the original sum from the number we calculated. And the amount of interest in that period is $33,000. Slightly harder one, we've got a car that costs $45,000 and it decreases by 12.5% per year. You should appreciate that this is often called depreciation and it is possible that word will appear in the exam. So how long is it before it loses half its value? Well, that's our little mnemonic, that's how we're going to remember it. So we go. Our end value is half our starting value, which is 22,500, is the starting value times 100%. And because it's going down, our percentage change is negative. Very important. It's reducing by 12.5%, so it's going down. And that simplifies to that equation. We're going to move the 45,000 across. And 1 minus 0.125 is 0.875. And we get our logs out because we've got an unknown that's a power. We log both sides. 22,500 divided by 45 is 0.5. That's the half of the value that we were originally starting with. And we move the T outside using our log rules. And we solve it. Gives 5.19. Log a half divided by log 0.85 is 5.19, and that's six years 
if it's been happening yearly. So, how do we do all this? Well, this is our method. We know that end value is start value times the 100% plus whatever change it is to the power of time. If the change in over time is a reduction, then this value here will be negative, and that 1 plus the percentage will be less than 1. And we have to be very careful to work out our answer in context. A lot of these questions are merit, and there will be a very obvious context to answer them in.